Hey guys, this is Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we are here at the Sony booth during MWC 2016 taking a look at the latest flagship product from Sony that is the XZ Premium. So this here is a mirror of a phone. I mean it has such a glossy finish at the back and extends all the way up to the front which looks good, really good in real life especially but is a pain because of the fingerprint that actually attracts onto the device. So up top and the bottom you actually have a brushed aluminium feel which we feel would have been better if it was there all around the device but this has a unique uh, design and it also has a unique uh, look in terms of the overall design how Sony has made it. So at the top and bottom also you have chamfered edges which is quite unlike most other smartphones which have the chamfered edges just around the display or around the back. This the chamfered edges are actually at the top and bottom and this feels really really good to hold. The build quality is really astounding and Sony have really outdone themselves on that front but the bezels are actually quite big at the front and as a result despite being a 5.5 inch smartphone it's actually quite big in terms of the physical foot print. It's also a bit thick but that is actually hidden well by the fact that the cor the sides are actually well rounded. It feels good in the hand and feels really solid but it is a bit bulky. So this device packs is packed to the gills in terms of features. It has a 5.5 inch tri luminous display that actually supports 4K resolution. So just like the Z5 Premium, it has the ability to display 4K content in full 4K resolution. However, the catch here is that just like the previous phone, this too will display full 4K resolution only when required, especially during photos, videos, etc to uh, save battery life. This has a 3230 mAh battery under the hood but if you actually have 4K resolution it is quite easy to drain the full battery so that way this conserves energy. It has sRGB 138% and apart from that it comes with a 19 megapixel camera at the back so this camera has many firsts so one of the main things is that it supports slow motion video recording up to 960 frames per second so now that is crazy especially considering that this can record uh, 4K content also and the main reason it can record 960 frames per second is because this is the world's first smartphone to actually be powered by the Snapdragon 835 chipset. You have a 4 GB of RAM internally, you also have a 64 GB of internal storage and it is also expandable using micro SD cards. This here is the single SIM variant but it will also come in a dual SIM variant based on your marketry and regions. At the bottom you have uh, USB Type-C port, you have the primary microphone while at the top you have the 3.5mm audio jack and the secondary microphone. The main camera has a resolution of 19 megapixels. It has a 1 by 2.3 inch sensor size and is a Sony Explore RS sensor. At the front you have a 13 megapixel camera which is also quite big because it has 1 by 3 inch sensor size and both these cameras have an aperture of f2.0. So this smartphone is quite good in terms of the build quality and overall experience but Sony in the past has produced smartphones with camera that's slightly under par. I mean they're great at producing the hardware but their software doesn't always translate to a better experience. So in that way the Xperia uh, XZ Premium has a lot to prove and we hope that it does well but it also remains to be seen at what price point they launch this. The release is also not yet known but overall seems interesting. We look forward to trying this in detail in the near future. So the Xperia XZ Premium actually supports waterproofing. It is water resistant and dust resistant and carries a rating of IP68 and that is possible even without having a protector for the USB Type-C port or the headphone jack. So apart from that this is also the first device on the market to support Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 which is another first and which means that it can charge really rapidly the 3230 mAh battery that's built in under the hood. The main camera also has a 5-axis image stabilization for videos and photos which should mean that it can give really good output and so far in the past even without OIS Sony has produced one of the smoothest recording videos possible along with Moto so this too should be really good in terms of the video stabilization. We'll be taking a look at the photo uh, and the video department in detail during our camera preview of the device so do stay tuned for that as well. This was a quick hands-on first impressions of the Sony Xperia XZ Premium from here at MWC 2017. If you like this video do hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.